From classic islands to inland parks that need to be viewed with your own eyes, join me as I reveal to you 10 of the most beautiful travel destinations you need to see. Number 10, Hawaii. I know, I get it, of course we're going to put Hawaii on this list, but you're thinking about it in the wrong way. When you're thinking about places to go for vacation, there are certain top-tier destinations based on who you are, what your family size is, and more. But if you're looking for true paradise locations to go to, Hawaii is on the top of many people's lists, or at the very least, it's near the top. And truth be told, it deserves it in virtually every way. Because when you think about everything Hawaii is, it really is a place that is cool to look at cool to be in, and a fun place to go to. What more could you ask for from a vacation spot than that? First and foremost, it's an island chain, one that has all kinds of events for you to take part of in regards to the Hawaiian culture or just great vacation events. If you're looking to relax on a beach, you'll find plenty of room on at least one beach all over the island. There's also sailing, surfing, scuba diving, and more. There's great food, great parties, and all sorts of wildlife. And the locals are really friendly most of the time. So when you add it all up, you get a place where many people spend their vacations. The many islands have their own sights and sounds and experiences to deliver. There are even some that aren't inhabited by people, just animals, including some rare ones. The oceans are pristine and are perfect to swim, surf, dive in, and more. And that's not even touching the historical aspects of both the native people and how Hawaii has affected the world at large. So yeah, it's a bit obvious, but it's also true that Hawaii is an obvious treasure you should visit at least once in your lifetime. Number 9. Victoria Falls Located in Zambia and Zimbabwe, Victoria Falls is one of the seven natural wonders of the world, as well as one of the biggest waterfalls in the world today which is saying something, as there are some pretty impressive falls all over the world. This is truly a towering place, at over 300 feet in height and over one mile in length. It carves quite a path and drives a lot of tourism in Africa. In fact, it's one of the most famous World Heritage Sites in the continent, which again is saying something given all that's in Africa. The native people of Africa knew about Victoria Falls for some time, and it was only in 1855 that the Scottish missionary David Livingston explored the region and soon came upon the falls. He named it after then Queen Victoria of Britain. The African name for the falls is Mosi Oatunya, which translated means the smoke that thunders. UNESCO, which runs the World Heritage List, uses both names in its registry to honor both sides who discovered the falls. While technically not the largest waterfall in the world based on height or width, it is classified as the largest sheet of falling water in the world, making it truly a natural occurrence to behold. Millions of visitors each year come to see the falls, but not in the way you might expect. Most of the people who visit Victoria Falls are from Zambia and Zimbabwe and not international visitors. This is because the waterfall is easy to reach by bus or car or even walking and doesn't cost much to see as a result. This is a different feel from other international treasures that see more people from out of country come to see it than the natives. Still, whether local or international, you should go see this falls and witness just how tiny you are in comparison. 8. Yellowstone National Park There are going to be a few parks that are put on this list, and easily one of the most important ones is that of Yellowstone National Park. One of the big reasons for this is that Yellowstone National Park was the first officially recognized national park in the United States, and technically, the world. It's so big that it covers multiple states including Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. A big reason why you need to go see this place is simple, because it has a lot to offer in terms of ecosystems. It's got plains, forests, mountain areas, waterfalls, and even hot springs and geysers including the legendary Old Faithful. That's a lot to tour, and with about 3,500 square miles in the park, you're going to need a lot of time to tour it. While you're doing so, you'll be able to witness all kinds of animals and plants, some of which are actually endangered. Another reason to go and see Yellowstone 
is the fact that the area is technically a hot spot for danger, and not in the way you'd think. You know all of those hot springs and geysers? That's a natural occurrence due to the fact that the park is a literal dormant supervolcano. Yeah, that means it can go boom any time it wanted to, and it'd wreck a lot of things as a result. So you should go see it in case that happens eventually. Number 7. The Great Barrier Reef the oceans of our world are filled with all sorts of creatures that amaze, confuse, and sometimes terrify us. But it's also home to some of the most beautiful natural creations on the planet, which is what humans love to see and show off. To that end, off of Australia, you'll find one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world via the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest collection of coral reefs in the entire planet. How big does that get, you ask? All told, it's about 1,400 miles. That's a lot of coral reefs. And because of how they're made, they're absolutely beautiful to look at, as they're full of color, unique shapes, and of course, the animals that call the place home. There are many scuba diving trips and expeditions that you can take to see the reefs. And when you do, you'll get a glimpse at all the things that live in there. Fish, crabs, plant life, and more live within these coral structures. Oh, and don't forget, Coral are technically alive, so if you get close, you'll see them pulse around. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the seven natural wonders of the world, which is why many long to see it, and it's not hard to see why, especially since in many other places, coral doesn't grow anywhere near that big for natural or unnatural reasons, so having anything close to this size and beauty makes it a true wonder. 6. Mount Everest Okay. I'll admit that this next one isn't exactly for the faint of heart, but the fact can't be denied that Mount Everest is one of the most important locations on the planet, and that alone makes it a destination you should travel to. And while scary, it is most definitely beautiful. If you somehow don't know, Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world that is above sea level. So if you were to go and climb the mountain, you would be able to say that you are on top of the world. That's because the mountain stands just under 30,000 feet above sea level, which is, well, it's high. It's very, very high. And those who know the stories of Mount Everest know that when it comes to those who try to climb it, it's a very dangerous venture, and many have lost their lives in the pursuit of getting to the top. But those who have done it have admitted a rather transcendent experience, one that very few get to see. That's because when you're on top of the mountain, you get a view that is beyond explanation, one that you can only experience when you're there, on that mountaintop, looking out at the world on high. So yeah, this won't be for everyone, but for the bold, the brave, this is a place you'll want to experience. Number 5. Paris, France From one of the most isolated places in the world, we now go to one of the most populated cities in the world. Long romanticized as the city of love, don't tell that to the French, though. They tend to not like certain outsiders. Paris, France is without a doubt one of the most beautiful cultural cities in the world today, which is why it's a top-tier tourist destination. I mean, let's just list off some of the historical treasures that are there. There's Notre Dame, inspiration for the legendary story, the Eiffel Tower, one of the most visited places in the world every year, the Louvre, home of the Mona Lisa and other important art pieces, and more. Plus, there's the feel and atmosphere of Paris. The cafes, the people on bikes, the way the buildings look, there's something about it that draws people there. So much so that Paris actually accounts for about 18% of the entire country of France. You can't get that number unless people want to be there. Paris is a constant destination vacation spot, and you'll definitely want to see it if you can. 4. Seychelles Let's head back to the island paradise of the world, shall we? The Seychelles are widely considered one of the most beautiful island chains in the world. In fact, it's so valued that not only is it a top resort and vacation spot, but some of its forests are actually UNSECO protected, as is half the animal population too. Think about that for a minute. What does it take for you to have half your animal population protected? Value and rarity, that's what. The Seychelles isn't just one island, rather, it's more than 100 islands, and among these many islands you'll find loads to do, including observing the forest and the incredible wildlife, being able to go snorkeling and seeing what lies beneath the waves. And if you're looking for a fishing trip, 
Anglers from all over the world come to the Seychelles to try their hand at some unique fish that they can catch. What's that? You're hoping for a more relaxing trip? One where you don't do much? Simple. Just go and wander the islands and observe what's there. The Seychelles are actually quite legendary for their protection of threatened creatures and of their habitats. Thus, you'll see creatures like the Aldebra giant tortoise, the Seychelles paradise flycatcher, and over 75 different species of plants that make the Seychelles solely their home. And the waters of the area hold over 1,000 fish species. Now, you might know this, but the Seychelles aren't the cheapest of islands to go to. But it's hard to deny that sometimes you need to pay for quality, and that's definitely what you're going to get here. Number 3. Washington, D.C. The capitals of nations are almost always worth seeing for one reason or another. But when it comes to Washington, D.C., the beauty of this place is in the history that is quite literally all around you. Washington, D.C. has been the capital of the United States since 1790, where they approved a law to make a federal district that isn't a part of any state and thus is solely independent. Not something you'd expect from a nation, and thus Washington, D.C. is rather unique to most countries because of that. But getting back to the history, since it's been around for hundreds of years, there are many monuments and historical places that are there for you to visit. There's the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, memorials to many fallen soldiers over the years, and so many more. Plus, in terms of current history, you have the White House, Pentagon, Supreme Court, and Congress, all of which help make the United States what it is today. There's almost always a sense of patriotism as you walk the streets of the nation's capital and see the flags and other parts of the U.S. history that are shining through. So at times, man-made beauty can be just as good. 2. Fjordland National Park If you're wanting to go to a place that is great solely because of its beauty and nothing else, then Fjordland National Park in New Zealand is for you. This is because the park is literally known for its beautiful fields and flowers, as well as other vegetation via the local forest. Plus, it's all natural, with very little human interference in regards to the greenery. What sets it apart from most places is that in December, a special feature of the park comes forth. Mainly, a flower goes into bloom in that month, and when it does, it turns the entire area it's in into a swath of purple flowers. There's that and many more. It's a sight to behold. There are also many areas where you can walk through and above to get an even better view on the area at large. Number 1. Rome I might be a little biased here, but Rome is arguably one of the coolest and most beautiful destinations you can go to for both aesthetic, cultural, and historical reasons. First off, it's the capital of Italy, and it has one of the biggest populations in not just Italy, but all of Europe. It's also the home of the Vatican, which is one of the most important religious areas in the world, though technically it's a city-state. Historically, Rome was one of the focal points of the legendary Roman Empire and Republic and some of its former glory is still on display for all to see, such as the legendary Colosseum and many more. Due to its association with that and many artists from the Renaissance, the city is the most visited place in Italy, the fourth most visited place in Europe, and the 16th most visited city in the world. Clearly, a lot of people appreciate its beauty. Plus, Italian food? What can go wrong there? What did you think of these must-see beautiful travel destinations? Do you have the urge to try and go to some now? Have you already been to some of them already? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.